Welcome to the Rocky Mount Area Chamber of Buzz. Today's guest is Kenzie King, who is owner and operator of Custom Car Trims. Today's show is brought to you by Roger G. Taylor & Associates to show you a lot of the wonderful things that are going on in our community. Good morning everyone. Uh, this is Teresa Pinto, President for the Rocky Mount Area Chamber of Commerce and absolutely thrilled to be out here this morning on Sunset Avenue with Moorefield Real Estate, our July Small Business of the Month winner. Uh, this has been I think a long time in coming as I read the press release on Ken and his business and his, all of his team members here. Great to see you all this morning. Um, I think I was most impressed by, number one, your longevity in the business, that you understand reinvestment and the ebb and flow of business. Uh, but most of all for me, it was that he's been married for 53 years, something I have not even come close to achieving. That was impressive to me. <laughs> And second of all, that you understand mentoring and continuing that reinvestment, not just in the business, but in people. And carrying on, you've had wonderful mentors in your life, Tom Betts is an example of one, and that you're passing that, paying it forward almost, as in continuing to mentor the people that are on your team, other business professionals. I think that says a lot about the type of business person you are. And uh, like I said, I think it's been a long time in coming to recognize you for that. It's been many, many years of reinvestment in this community and in the small businesses here. So I want to thank you for that and congratulations. For career, uh, wonderful people here in Rocky Mount. Uh, the people that I've been fortunate enough to work with in our industry are, are the best. And uh, you could not ever live in a nicer place than Rocky Mount. So being able to be in business here uh, 40 years uh, this year, and uh, it's, it's been a joy. Thank you for staying with us. And Kenzie King is our guest. And I'm having a really good time talking to you before we started. You do custom car trims. Yes, ma'am. And judging from your age, you haven't, you didn't have a previous career, right? Uh, well, I worked at um, Pemberton for almost a year. And at what? At Pemberton Incorporated. Okay. Doing heating and air work. Okay. Um, Good. Then I went to Progressive Electric and I was doing electrical work for almost a year. Mm -hmm. And I was hanging out at the shop nearly every afternoon when I got off there anyway. When Woody Harrington when owned Woody it. When Woody owned it. Okay. Yes, ma'am. Um, because I was friends with one of the guys that worked there. And he said the job was opening up and it was going to be more money mm -hmm. and less heat. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so I jumped all over it. Um, and apparently it paid off because I bought it a year and a half ago. Wonderful. Good for you. Well, you're located on Hilltop Plaza and custom car trims. Now, do you do the external stuff primarily or? And are there electronics involved in that? Or kind of give us an overview of what you do. Um, with tent windows, um, the truck accessories, mm -hmm. like Nerf bars, toolboxes. Wait, Nerf bar? Nerf bars. They're the round tube steps at the bottom of the truck. Okay. Um, you have to assume women are watching this too. So <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> I need some explanation. <laughs> um, I also do vent visors. The visors go over the, win over the windows. Uh-huh. We do those. And what's, is that purely for looks or is there a function? In That's a function. That? Um, if it's raining outside or if it's real hot and you want to crack your windows keep uh -huh. from getting so hot inside, mm -hmm. you can do that. Or for your smokers, they can crack the window if it's raining and mm -hmm. they ain't got to worry about getting water all inside the truck. Okay. And do you stock all those pieces or do, do or the parts or do people come in and say, help me think of how I can really make this vehicle better or cooler or we more have, functional or we have a lot of people coming there and you know they'll ask us our opinion on stuff mm -hmm. and we'll put together a couple of price lists on everything and majority of the time they come back um and get most of it at all at one time mm -hmm. then we have some people they 
they don't want to do it all at one time because then it spoils. Well, they won't do it. They ain't got nothing to look forward on the vehicle no more. Right. So we get some people, they come in there, and about once every two or three weeks, they'll buy a different part and mm -hmm. keep it going. Um, I bet a lot of people are really excited about what you do to help because people are really attached to their cars and trucks. Yes. And especially this time, people are more apt to fix up their cars mm -hmm. instead of getting another truck payment or a car payment. Mm -hmm. They'll fix up theirs and make it look new mm -hmm. or feel new. Mm -hmm. um, and we get people in there like that a lot. They mm -hmm. just they they don't want to have enough four or five hundred dollar truck payment and their truck's paid for. Mm -hmm. They just want to spruce theirs up a little bit, and we're more than glad to help them with that. Kenzie, do you work with older, like really old antique type vehicles at all? Not much. Um, more of our stuff is mid nineties and up mm -hmm. that we work on that people bring in our shop. My husband said, because we were looking at your YouTube video, which mm -hmm. I th he thought was really cool. Um, I didn't get it kind of all, but anyway, he thought it was really cool, yeah. and we'll have to show that. Um, but he, I saw these additional mufflers maybe being added, and he said that helps with the engine. You get more power out of the engine if you have more mufflers because they're... We explain that, please. Well, not, not really more mufflers. Um, to a certain extent, mufflers do give you more horsepower mm -hmm. because of the back pressure on the motor. Mm -hmm. But... In diesels, mm -hmm. um, straight up in exhaust is what you want. <laughs> Why? Um, just it's more free flowing exhaust. Okay. Um, it allows the turbo to activate more power in the motor. More air, more fuel is more power. So, do you get these parts from the car companies, or are these are there other companies that strictly make the parts that you put on? There's companies that strictly make the parts, um, like um, SCT. They, they make tuners and programmers mm -hmm. for diesels and muscle cars, mm -hmm. which is a very inexpensive way to get more power because you can buy a programmer for a diesel and get another 150 or 300 horsepower out of it. Um, wow. Yep. That's it. Is that legal? Yes. Sort of. Yes. <laughs> okay. yes. Okay. I'll go ahead. We won't tell anybody. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, and then you have the, what they call a DPF delete. Um, for new diesels, it's uh, it's another filter inside the exhaust, which pretty much burns more fuel. Mm -hmm. But we do that for a race-only application, um, an off-road, which takes the DPF filter and the cat and the mufflers out of the exhaust, so it's straight exhaust. Mm -hmm. Then it's an unlocked box that goes onto the diesel, um, and that's how you're on the newer diesel you average will get a lot more power out of it. How did you learn to do all of this stuff? Just being around it, um, having a passion for it. Mm -hmm. um, I try to learn all I can. And you've got a, an additional employee, right? Yes. Um, at the moment, we got Brent Cooper. Mm -hmm. um, he's been there maybe a month or two. And he's, from what I can tell, he's got the same passion I do. Wait, when you bought the business, um, it was really up and running pretty well, wasn't it? And, yes, ma'am. From what I hear from Bobby Booth calling you, you stay busy all the time. Yes, ma'am. Try to stay busy as I can. If I got to work till midnight every night, I will. Just I try to get everything done before I leave. Great work ethic. Good for you. And I noticed on your website, in fact, or I went to um, your, I guess where you had all your information on the Yellow Pages and Google and whatnot, and you've got pretty long hours already. You start early in the morning, don't you? Well, sometimes I do, but we don't actually open until 9.30, mm -hmm. and then we close at 5.30. Um, Saturdays. You might want to check your, your listing on the web on really? Google because it has you going longer than that. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> but you probably are in reality because with your, you know, you said that you'll stay as long as it takes. Yep. I try to get errands done early in the morning if I can, mm -hmm. if the places are open. But, um, and then on Saturdays we're at 9.30 to 12.30. And if people come and just, again, say, you know, here's my, here's my car, here's my truck, help me visualize what I, what the, op the, possibilities are then you can just kind of walk them through all the options then can't you yes ma'am and give them some price lists and and I, I agree with you I think probably a lot of people would have more fun thinking well I'll start with this and then I'll have this to look forward to and save up to do that and and continue and, and whatnot so yes ma'am do you find people do it for a family member like get the windows tinted or something for a family member for a, a present yeah yes ma'am um especially around Christmas mm -hmm. um They'll come in and they'll go and pay for tent jobs and just give their relatives or family members a 
a receipt mm -hmm. saying what they bought for them and they'll go ahead and just call us and set up a time after Christmas. But um, that's that's when we get to see a big spike in, in our window tent or gift cards. Mm -hmm. Well, Kizzy, I saw someplace in the newspaper that, that law enforcement was concerned about the darkness of windows. Do you Are there certain levels of tent that people can have that, that are legal versus yes, not? Um, they do 35%. That's the darkest you can go by law. Mm -hmm. um, on a car, it's 35% all the way around. Mm -hmm. uh, truck or SUV or van, RV, you can have them 35 on the front and anything behind the two front doors, you can go dark as you want to. Mm -hmm. You can paint them black if you wanted to. Um, paint them black? <laughs> yes, ma'am. <Whoa. laughs> you can't see through it, though, can you? Nope, but those windows are exempt from law. Gotcha. Okay. Yep. Well, I tell you what, we are going to, we've got a treat for everybody. We are going to go to your shop um, and let you show us some of what you're doing because it's one thing to talk about it, uh, but it's another to actually see it. But before we close out this and, and adjourn to your shop, what are your future plans? Hopefully expansion. Um, I want a bigger shop in a couple of years. Just trying to get all my ducks in a row right now. Mm -hmm. Well, we love young entrepreneurs and, and you're hired, you've hired somebody and probably down the road with your expansion will even hire more. But in this economy and all, you've chosen a good field, obviously, and, and we just congratulate you. Thank you. For what you're doing and we're going to adjourn to your shop, okay? Right. Thank you, <laughs> okay, see you there. All right. We are at Custom Car Trims with Kenzie King, and we are thrilled to be here. Um, we want to thank, before we get started, Roger G. Taylor and Associates for making this show possible. Be sure and thank him if you see him around town. This is like like Christmas in, in candy stores, <laughs> <laughs> especially for guys, right? Would you, yes, would you say that's true? Yes, ma'am. Well, we are delighted to be here, and we want you to show us all the cool stuff. And why don't we start with the, the window tent? Yes, um, we use Lumar window tint, which is a dye, I mean, which is not a dyed film. It's a metalized film, uh -huh. which is not going to fade and turn purple. Um, and, and I we, have seen them turning purple, so yes. these don't. Good. And that comes from cheap tint. Okay. Um, you get what you pay for. And we do the back glasses in one piece. Mm -hmm. um, a, lot of, a lot of shops around town, they do the back glasses in strips, or they'll do two or three pieces. Like I said, we do it in one piece, and we have lifetime warranty on bubbling, peeling, and fading. If it's 15 years from now, as long as you got your receipt, mm -hmm. we'll warranty it if anything's wrong with it. That's quite a guarantee. Now you got 5%, 20%, 35%. All those pass code for the front windows, right? Or do they? No. Um, okay. 35% is the darkest you can go by law mm -hmm. in the state of North Carolina, all the way around on the car. Mm -hmm. Trucks, vans, SUVs, that's the darkest you can go on the front. Mm -hmm. But you can put either one of these tents on the back, 20% or 5 Okay. Because they're exempt from law. Uh huh. And so, and, and you also talked about a lot of maybe people come in and, and it's a present for somebody. They'll they'll buy this and, and give them the coupon and say, you know, Merry Christmas. You can go in after Christmas or you know your birthday and get that done. So, yep. I think that's a pretty neat thing to do. Plus, it, it helps keep people from getting too much sun exposure when they're driving around too. Yes, uh, and it also helps. Um, preserve the interior of your car because mm -hmm. it blocks all the UVB, uh, UVA rays and UVB. Um, we also do a UV tinting, which don't have any shade to it. It's a clear tint. Mm -hmm. And a lot of um, people with skin diseases or mm -hmm. if there's sunlight irritates their skin real easy, mm -hmm. we'll do that for them. Oh, okay. Well, good. And what are we looking at up here? The wood, <clears throat> excuse me, wood interior? Do you put those in? Yes, we do wood grain kits <clears throat> also. Just sometimes the wood grain kits are real expensive from the factory. If you want that option, you can come here. It's a it's a cheaper, more inexpensive um, addition to the interior of your car. So if you find a car that you like but it doesn't have it, <clears throat> excuse me, everything you want, then you can just come and pick and choose what you want and have it added. Yes, ma'am. Good deal. Okay, let's go over. You've got a wall of of every name of every vehicle here. Tell I mean every type of, of car dealer, um, athletic teams and whatnot. How many of those do you have? Uh, you we keep over 300 in stock. And if you don't see anything on the wall you want, we can order it and have it here within a week or two. And they're really, they're, they're I mean, they, do they sell really well? Yes, ma'am. 
That's uh, one of our top sellers. Uh -huh. We um, they're stainless steel, polished stainless plates, uh, laser cut acrylic. Okay, so when you bought this business, you bought all the inventory too, right? Yes, ma'am. Good deal for him and good deal for you, wasn't it? Yes, ma'am. <laughs> okay, well, good. Okay, these yep. are decals you can put on? Yes, um, we also do decals. Um, mm -hmm. That's a few samples of the little stuff we can do. We can also go and letter storefronts, um, enclosed trailers, 18-wheelers, pretty much anything. If you want to let it, I can do it. All right, sounds great. And what are vent visors? What are their, yes. You were talking about them yesterday, yes, right? Yes, ma'am. Over the windows? Yes, ma'am. Let's come look at them. And so you put them all, some just straight across and some going on down? And well, they're form fit to the window. Okay. Um, some of them are in channels. Some of them stick on the outside. It's pretty much personal preference on which actual style you want. But it's a great addition to the car or the truck. And some of that's just for aesthetics instead of being functional. I mean, they do function like you to keep the rain out and let smoke out and whatnot. But also, sometimes people just put them on because they like how they look, right? Yes, ma'am. But more, more so, probably 75% of people come here actually want for function. Mm -hmm. The other ones, they just, it's what they've had on their vehicle, and that's what they like. That's used their look. That's the look they're used to seeing. Mm -hmm. So that's what they put on their trucks. Okay. Um, thanks for the back of trucks here. Yes, we got um, we carry yeah. UWS toolboxes, and they carry a lifetime warranty on any workmanship of those. And um, they're real nice toolboxes. Does the fact that we have a lot of farmers in the area and a lot of sportsmen and whatnot kind of contribute to your business? Yes, yes. Um, they come here to buy bumpers, trailer hitches, um, extra, um, extra fuel tanks. Mm -hmm. um, we can also do what they call a Titan tank, which adds extra 16 to 20 gallons to the factory vehicle size tank. You take the factory vehicle tank out and replace it with a Titan tank. Mm -hmm. That's a great addition. I mean, you ain't got to stop at the gas station and fill up so much. Sounds good. When I hear, this is just, this really fancy walking <laughs> in and seeing that, and you did cut back some of the lights. You wanted to turn them yes. on? Yes. And, and tell us what we're looking at as far as what each of these are. Um, the bottom ones are LED lights, okay. which is, they're bright. Um, they use a lot less current to do it, so I mean. And last and, forever, the bulbs last yes, forever, basically. Yes, they last a whole lot longer than um, halogen bulbs. And then these are HID lights. High which, density. Well, high intensity high discharge intensity lights. Discharge. Okay, yep. these are or these are or both? Just just the high beams, just the the inside ones. Oh, that's the, the outside one. ones are our LED headlights. Oh, okay. Yep. And they're they're phenomenal, especially if you live out in the country where deer are uh -huh. and you want to see for a long ways, these that's the ticket. I mean it's it's a very nice addition. Uh-huh. And you just do you have to replace the whole thing? Like no. the whole, just, nope, just just replace the bulb and uh -huh. you add a ballast. But the ballast you do to add to in order yes. to support, support yes. them. Yeah. Okay, what am I looking at here? Clean, polish, whatever? Yes, these are, these are clean supplies we carry. We okay. try to do a little bit of everything. We got chrome wash, chrome polish, and full line of aluminum washes and polish. If you got an old dingy toolbox that you don't want to spend money on a new one, mm -hmm. spray it down with the wash and then polish it out, and it'll shine like new with a little bit of elbow grease. Sounds good. Okay, yep. over here. The, or the sanction supplies no line we picked up um, back in February. Mm -hmm. And we're the only ones within 75 miles that carry this product. What's, what's good about it? Well, I mean, it works phenomenal. That's the main thing. The, like the tire glaze, mm -hmm. put it on your vehicle. It lasts two or three car washes. It don't sling off on the side of your truck like a lot of tire shines do. Mm -hmm. And everything smells good. Everything's got a real nice smell to it. Um, one of my buddies was spraying the spray detailer on his truck, and he come back in. He told me, he said, um, man, it I was like, how'd you like it? And he said, well, it took forever. I was like, why? He said, because I, I kept stopping and smelling the rag. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> when I was the wax, yep. pretty easy to put on and get off, too. Yes, cause... yes. It's, it's very easy and simple to use, and it don't take a lot of scrubbing to get the wax off like I've seen with other products. Well, and I, I watched a car recently, my husband said, oh, did I not tell you there's a new product that it comes off easier because I was using the old-timey stuff? Mm -hmm. That's hard. Yes. I mean, it takes yep. a lot of work. This company called Weston, um, if you have a real 
tough problem getting into your vehicle if it's too high or, or you're just simply not able to lift your legs up mm -hmm. that high to get into a vehicle. This is another great addition to have. And we can get the polished stainless, we can get black, we can get chrome plated stainless, mm -hmm. or we can get a wide variety of running boards. This this is pretty big. Well, where would people put that on their vehicle? Yes, it's called a bull bar. Uh -huh. It goes on the front of your vehicle. Okay. If you don't want if you want a little more protection, that's a great thing to have. Um, and we also carry the full brush guards, but some people don't want a big brush guard in the front of their truck, uh -huh. so this is what they they get. And these. Yes, this is um, another set of steps mm -hmm. and the oval steps. Just another brand instead of Weston. It's a brand called Trail FX, Okay. which is a great economical brand. I mean, it's phenomenal. It carries all the same warranties that the big brands carry. Okay. And these are bed rails. They go on top of your bed if you want just to dress it up a little bit. And I like that you're here and you're local and you stand behind your business, too. Yes. I mean, that's really important to people. Yeah, I take great pride in my work. We're back in your shop. You said, excuse the mess, and I said, it looks pretty good to me. You would expect to see a lot of work going on here, <laughs> a lot of things around. But welcome to you, and you're the Woody, right, the person from whom he bought it. Yes. Um, and he has spoken very highly of you. You want to brag on him a little bit more, Kenzie? <laughs> Yes, he's the he's the one that showed me a little few things and had the patience with me and I can't say that I was really blessed with patience, but <laughs> he's uh he's been a great influence in the shop and I felt honored that he thought I was great to continue to the sure. shop going. Trusted your customers to him and, and obviously you feel good about it because you still come in how frequently? Every, Every day? day. Good for you. I just come in and stay from like nine thirty to about 11.30 mm -hmm. and go get the mail and, you know. Make sure, in. check on him. Yeah. Got to check on him. Make sure his patient's <laughs> hanging in there, too. That's right. Try so, to keep me on the right track. <laughs> well, good. Well, I'm glad you came while we're here. And we are getting ready right now to watch what? Let me move out of the way here. Oh, he's going to swipe a car. Yeah. Yep. Good. Brent's going to stripe his... Na tell us, what's his name? His, his name is Brent Cooper. Hey, Brent. <laughs> Trying to train him and... Try to get him on the right track and show him a little tricks of the trade. And this is a really beautiful vehicle. Yes. Um, well, they, so the person wants a stripe down the side, um, and will you cut? How do you stop it at the doors and whatnot? Yes, you just, what we do, we just try to find a common body line. Uh-huh. Start the door, work our way back, and then we'll start the fender, bring it way down until we think it looks good. Uh-huh. And we just start cutting where we need to. We'll push into the door jams. Like around the corner yes. of the door jams and whatnot? Yes. What are some other things? Like if, if I owned this vehicle and I came in, I said, okay, I, w I want you to just make it amazing, even more amazing than it is. Tell us some things that you might do. Um, like this one, uh, we're going to lower it a little bit. Um, to we're the ground. Lower it two in the front, four in the back. Um, he's going to put some black 24-inch wheels on it. We're also going to tint all the windows and the pinstripe, of course. Mm -hmm. uh, we're also going to do HID lighting in front, and we're going to tint the tail lights. So when people buy a vehicle, then they don't if they can't if they find a good deal on one and it doesn't have even close to all the things they want, no problem. Get the vehicle at a good deal and then just come and, and like we mentioned earlier, you can really do most anything. To yes. add what you're you're missing on it, or yep. what you th w wish to have on it. Yes, ma'am. We can pretty much get it go after any look you're going for. Mm -hmm. And we have a lot of people they'll come in here and they'll drop a vehicle off the night before, just like this gentleman did yesterday. He dropped it off, and we kept inside locked up instead of outside in the parking lot mm -hmm. where it's vulnerable. And how long would it take to put tenting in the, all the windows? Uh, four to a car. I can do in two hours. Um, vehicle like this, about two hours and 15 minutes. And does it have to season or sit up or anything before you can drive it out of the no, ma'am. The shop? No, ma'am. But you have to keep your windows up for at least three days while the tent cures, and it also takes an additional two weeks for a tent to fully cure. Congratulations to thank you, you. And, and to you too. Well, thank you. We love entrepreneurs in this area, and, and to have lasted since 1979 to, to pass it on to a, a new generation and, and have you be busy and thriving. We just congratulate you tremendously, both of you. Thank you. Uh -huh. thank you. And thank you for letting us join you. Yes, ma'am. Uh -huh. Have a great day. See you next week.